Oh, it's six of. I've got oh, it. You got it. Awesome. Got Thank it. you so much. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll reshare the screen. Okay. So we're all good. Hi, so yeah, um, I've met a few of you before. My name's Rory Wells. I'm currently a community builder working for um, a company Touchstone uh, in Leeds. This will be a little thing about the, the role of the institution in ABC. Um, these are all the awesome partners that have been involved in this great unconference so far. Um, and so if you want to like, we've had a little bit of introduction to ourselves, but if you feel free to put in the chat anything else that you, that you think you'd like to share with us. Um, you know, we all know this. If you don't, then just speak up and ask for help with mute and stuff. Uh, you know, we've, we're well versed in this stuff as well now. So in terms of a land acknowledgement, I'm in Headingley in Leeds, which is known for its um, cricket ground in a lot of places. But it also is really famous for this tree, which was a big meeting place going back to uh, sort of the Viking invasion and stuff like that. Uh, and my family are from Northern Ireland, uh, a place, a few of them live in this place now called Dundrum, which is uh, on the coast in County Down. Uh, so as I said, um, I'm a community builder who uh, working for a company called Touchstone, who are um, a big, there's the third sector organization. Um, our work is commissioned by Leeds City Council. Uh, and if you've heard Verity and Jerry talk today, you might have heard a bit about this stuff um, already. I just let somebody else in the call that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is like the, what the session is going to look like today. So I'll just give a bit of a background on my work as a community builder in a place called Lincoln Green in Leeds. And then we're going to have some follow up conversations where we discuss these questions. So what's the role of your institution and the institutions you work with in your ABCD work? And then sort of to problematize that. So what are the potential dangers that institutions pose uh, in your particular ABCD contexts? And then we'll look to see how we can sort of maybe collectively solve some of these dangers using sort of asset based thinking. Um, so first of all, it's, it's like, you know, what the F is ABCD. Uh, and so I've got this here just to sort of make a distinction between asset based community development that we're all doing and then other methods of strength based working and thinking. Uh, so just a good like, way to sort of separate those out for potential thinking in the future. Uh, and as well, when we're thinking about institutions. Um, it's sometimes helpful to think of institutions just as organizations of people rather than sort of the other structural things that we might might get in the way of uh, how we think about that. Um, and again, these are um, just a, another set of useful tools to maybe how we can think about ABCD and how we can think about the conversations we're going to have about how we're doing ABCD and, and all that stuff. So Myron's Maxims, who's uh, come up a lot in a few of the other um, conversations we've been having. Um, he's an organizational theorist. And so he does these, these maxims for working in complex systems. And so these are people own what they create. Real world takes place in uh, real change takes place in real work. The people who do the work do the change. You can start anywhere and follow it anywhere and to continue to keep, to keep connecting the system to more of itself. And for me, um, this is a quote from I can't remember who quotes from an American theologian, but um, it comes to a sort of thinking from a uh, sort of philosophy of like Derrida and Emmanuel Levinas that stories these acts of verbal hospitality. And so we're going to sort of I'll talk a little bit about acts of hospitality and what I do. So this is some photographs uh, from some of the work we've been doing in Lincoln Green. Lincoln Green's an inner city, city area right at the edge of Leeds city centre. Um, uh, most of the housing of these sort of tower blocks you can see in the background. Uh, and you can see that um, this is some people at uh, community conversations that we have in the square, which is the sort of only real sort of meet, not necessarily meeting point, but sort of crossing point public space in Lincoln Green. You can see Jade there doing some art with some of the awesome kids. And um, we've got Emma up here, who's one of our community connectors, taking a photograph. Uh, and see some of the other things that we do here. So that's, they were photographs of the community conversations where we simply set up the community conversations. We do these larger events, which I'll show you a bit of videos about. Uh, we also are trying to bring arts into asset mapping to sort of get away from the way that the words mapping and stuff can make you think of a map, which is quite unhelpful in Lincoln Green because everyone lives on top of each other in the towers. So we've got that coming up and these sort of other more formalized conversations. Uh, so first I'm gonna share with you a couple of videos of work. These are 
uh, a video of the first intervention that we made into Lincoln Green. And then the second video is uh, the sort of the way that's grown with the help of the community uh, over, it was three months. So I just uh, sit back and watch these. Oh, no, <laughs> Big up myself, Rory, for me, man. I'm just taking up things that speak for me. Help man, some just want to mind the item that comes with living time. Who leads to will before seeing base of the sense 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 of the well, if the dub them sound sweet and the people them a dance, I must just ja work sound system a come across, lad. Watch ya! I say, hey, Mr. DJ, kill that sound again. Well, this a ja works where the people them defend. From now till the morning, sound boy get hang over. I must set the pattern. You can see sort of that's the first bit of impact that we tried to make in Lincoln Green uh, in that first thing. We, we made contact with 60 different people. That was an idea of a community connector we were working, Lucas, who um, had his sound system located in Madgate, which is adjacent to uh, Lincoln Green. And then over with these interventions, other people started to connect in. So and then over a couple of months. Oh, sorry. Yeah, over a couple of months, these uh, sort of built into these sort of slightly larger events where we were able to make connections with more people. So again, it's uh, nice chilled on this. You can just listen to the music and spend five minutes just chilling. <laughs>
sorry, just have a little second to breathe. So um, we'll, what we're going to do now is sort of try and replicate here uh, what all that was. So it sounds nice, it looks nice, but really a lot of that is just bells and whistles for facilitating the community conversations that, we, that we're looking to build to, in the asset base we're looking to. So if we could get into breakout rooms, Jerry, of uh, what are the numbers? Um, sort of twos or threes for 10 minutes and just try and talk about with some of the things we were looking at before. So um, organization, institutions as organizations of people, Myron's maxims that we'll type into the chat as well, uh, and acts of hospitality. And then through that, if we could just have a conversation as twos or threes on what is the role of institutions in your ABCD work. And then we're gonna come back and I'll sort of have a chat about that. What should we do, Jack? Should we jump into one? Or? Um, yeah, there are a couple of people who either not joined yet. I'm just trying to just go through the list at the moment. Um, people who have joined are more than welcome to stay yeah. in. So I think they're moving in now. Let me just check. Mark. Sometimes it's harder to, to select yes and stuff if you're on a phone and stuff. So we end up yeah. with some people. That's Felicia. Felicia, Mark, Karen. Can you hear us at all? We could uh, we could pop them in the waiting room, perhaps. Yeah. Just to make, try to make sure we haven't got somebody who's not got who's in one room on their own this way. Hopefully not. Yeah, I'll pop over all the, the room in the waiting room for now. Unless they're trying to join a chat a group. Um, the waiting room can be another one, can't it? Yeah. We're in the waiting room. We've got four in the waiting room. Should we try and readmit them? Do you think? Uh. Oh, let's this. let's give it until until we bring everyone back at half past, and then that that's essentially a way a, a breakout room now, isn't it? Yeah. Just wonder whether they can't connect for some reason. Yeah, I mean it's it's often to do when we did the ICCS. It's often just phones. People on phones can't get in, or they've left mm. the computer on and they're not actually there. Or... Uh, yeah. That's the other point as well, isn't it? It's hard to know if people are not there. Yeah, yeah. Or not. And then it's then you don't know what to say. <laughs> um, can we chat to them or not? Do you think at the moment? Uh, yeah, you can send a message to the waiting room. Hang on, let's have a look. If you go and chat everyone in waiting room and send it to them. Yeah. There's a chat gone.
Gracias. Uh, it's really odd when you can't see everyone. I know, I know. Unless you can dip in and out of it, I suppose, isn't it? It's whether. Well, when you've got your, sh your screen shared, I mean, you don't see you're... what everyone else is. You don't see what everyone else is doing here. No. Do no, 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 you can't. So I got three in the waiting room. No. What? Nobody's replied as yet. I think that they were all because you know when oh, we were well. saying hello, are you there? And they were they yeah. had the opportunity. Some people just can't, you know, not, don't necessarily want to have that smaller scale conversation either. Mm. They just want to watch a presentation more than so than to. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Yeah. So the okay. So. Is the, the will, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they'll just have to catch up, really, if we hopefully we can. Um, so how long are you gonna, do you want to give people in the I'll room? Them, I've said till half past, so I'll, I'll close it at one yeah. minute before at 29 minutes past and then right. just try and get them talking about what they were talking about. You know, there's too mm. many to get one. Well, well, we can probably get one person from each group to share something if we can. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes some people are a bit reluctant to get going it seems isn't it so it might yeah yeah nominate. that's why i tried to do that thing at the beginning just to get you know what i mean mm. just to break that barrier of yeah. you know sitting with your mic off yeah no no it's a good point that one that went well so how do you think people might react to to this one i don't know i hope that it's just helpful for their particular context that's what i've tried to make it as broad as sort of possible here's some helpful frames to think about it through mm. this is what we do Mm. Uh, you know, like, you know what I mean? See what people come back with will be interesting. See what people come back with—that's the whole point, isn't it? So it's like we're trying to build new ideas rather than me telling anybody mm. what's going on in the agreement. They probably don't yeah. care. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think though, actually, the the two the two videos yeah, brought it, it shows, to life. Yeah, because... it shows the difference. And that first chap that you see dancing in that first one, there's a, um, Lucas had the sound system out in Chapel Town and, on Carnival, even though Carnival wasn't on. And that same, there's right. photographs with that same guy stood there. Oh, right. really? He'd, he'd, he'd had that connection that he'd had with them then is, you know oh, what I mean? nice one. Nice like, one. Fruitful. Yeah. And people remember this, because it's, it's, it's as they say, isn't it? People remember, they don't remember what he might have said, but they remember Major how you made them feel. feel. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So... You, you make them feel part of it. That's the whole point, mm. yeah. Uh, no, I think it's... Uh, and I think, you know, and, and the challenge with what I'm saying is it's like, actually, we did all of that despite the institutions involved, really. Yeah, I think it's important to sort of, you know, make these points, isn't it, really? All the stuff that people have seen there has happened locally, isn't it? And yeah, yeah. Sort of informally. Yeah, yeah. And connected the dots and it's, yeah. And so, well, hopefully it's just, it, you know, it... It's just, it's just, so they're not going in with no context about what I do either. So I'm just some random head that says about institutions in ABCD, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm going to show that. Mm. No, no, should be it. Who else is in? I'm just trying to see, oh, there are two people in the waiting room now. Somebody's obviously, people are obviously on there because they've dropped out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, some groups have got four in, and we can mix them up again in different. Yeah, put them in different groups. ones next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's, that's the point. So Karen. Ooh, is in the... Karen is in the waiting room. Is she not is she knew. I think she tried to join um whilst Vic. Um, yeah. Hi Vic and Charles, how are you getting on? Everybody all right? 
Yes, we are, we are right. We are okay. oh, were you in a meeting room? Or are you coming back out now? I, I closed the rooms. Uh, oh, right, right, right. So everyone right. should be coming back in within yeah. the 60 seconds. Oh, yes, yeah. we're up. Always a good Time's sign up. when they don't come for it. <laughs> Great. Um, so does anyone want to share share what they were talking about with the um, in response to that question? If Maybe we've got time for one one person from each group to sort of feed back to what what's maybe some of the themes that came out of the, those conversations. I'm I'm happy to to start the ball rolling, Rory. And the, our conversation was great, but a lot of it is around institutions listening. And and um, you know, and also getting out of the way getting out of the way so that community can do good stuff, you know, or, you know, we were talking about the idea of, of consultation, which is really non-sultation. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't generate any participation in the community. It's like just a ticker box. So, so, you know, we need to move beyond that and we need to encourage institutions to move beyond that. Awesome. Thank you, Sharon and Michelle. I'll pick up the piece, Rory. Um, Charles and I had a um, discussion where we, um, um, the important role of institution in the situation in creating the environment. So it's just getting that initial environment and letting the conversations happen. So it's that, that environment without the institution's input was would be very degrading and um, not a place one would want to stay in. And it was an important role you played, but it's enough, just enough, so you can get the people together, a bit of food, a bit of, a bit of cultural music, a little bit of art, and let it happen. Let people have that conversation. And the joy and the emotion that came from that was outstanding. So I could see people wanting to connect Charles, you want to add anything? Yes, maybe just on that, eh? I actually asked uh, Vic, is there, is there a possibility that sometimes we might not need institutions, especially when the communities are more empowered and they feel like they have created that environment that they need and the institutions have no role in that community anymore? And, and Vic said, actually, that is, that is the conversion that is carrying on within the communities. That at some point we have to let the flow of, of, of the community and the people, you know, build that baseline for, for talking and, and engaging. And the constitutions, the, the institutions have to give that space where the communities have their own understanding and their own cultures and their and the music and, and, and everything that makes them real, real vibrant. So I think that is that is a good idea. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Charles. Um, is there someone else from one of the groups who can sort of push around with the conversation? I don't want to have to nominate someone, but um, Jade, have you have you got something? Tell us maybe what you what came up artistically for you when when in your conversations. Mm, interesting one. Uh, well, I've just been um, I've just been listening really to what other people have been saying, and some of the things um, that were part out there were, you know, just taking a step backwards, the act of kind of letting the community act, like kind of empowering and supporting participants in the communal processes, but then knowing when to step back and knowing when to let those processes organically flourish. We had some chats about not really knowing what was meant by the institution or even at points where the institution is actually helpful in facilitating those those conversations. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it from from my from my end. Awesome. Cheers, Jade. Is there anyone else that'd like to share a bit with that one more before we've got time for one more person before we move on? We've got a comment in the Verity. chat from Jesse Williams and also then Verity as well. Uh, Jesse, did you want to say anything to your comment about blended services? Yeah, I look very fresh to it. So my thinking's unformed, but, you know, person-centred care is the norm for my organisation or institution. And 
what we're trying to now do is broaden that, uh, broaden the field, I guess, to community focus work. And just trying to get my head around how those two are nested together in a, in a nice way, rather than flipping from one paradigm to the other. That's kind of where my head's at, if that makes sense. Awesome, great. And Dorothy, did you, what would you look to speak to? The quick one, I mean, Winifred and I were together and I felt a bit sorry for Winifred because she's had me for an hour this morning talking at her about what we do in Leeds. But um, <laughs> so we were like, oh, what are we, we going to talk about? Because you know what the model is, because we, we talked about this morning and what our role is as an institution, as a council. But um, Winifred said something was really, really interesting and it was consultate, um, no, sorry, that was Michelle. Pro um, process is equally important as the outcome. And I think that's just really, really integral part of what ABCD is, isn't it? It's really about being okay about that and the stepping back and the stuff you were mentioning this morning Rory in our in our thing this morning around um what can we do to get out of the way to let people do what they need to do and that is one of the four principles as we know the ABCD isn't it what can institutions do themselves what can people do with support etc and the fourth one which a lot of people don't really ever talk about in local authorities I found what can we do to step out of the way to make you know to let people do what they need to do so yeah that was one of the key things Awesome, thanks. So I'm just going to try to reshare my screen again, and we're going to go back into some more breakout rooms. Um, I'm not going the right thing. So we're going to go back into the breakout rooms. Probably, hopefully, Jerry, if we can do it with yep. um, with with somebody else. And mm -hmm. so this is uh, another thing to think about. So this isn't. Uh, this would be good if you can focus on something that's very specific to your context and your work, uh, because when we come back and having spoke about this, we're going to try and see if we can use some sort of solution based thinking to sort of see if we can collectively sort of, you know, come up with some ideas around uh, challenges, specific challenges in each of our individual works. Um, so, yeah, as uh, I'll type this into the chat as well. Um, and we can stop the share as we fill out the breakout rooms okay. yeah so you've got the questions in the chat as well yes that's in the chat now i'll send it into the great room as well okay i'm going to open all the rooms no problem thanks, we'll for, thanks for joining elizabeth Somebody's iPhone. No. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me just move Winifred to. Oh, see. yes. Put her in with someone. Joanne's on her own. Yeah. So. Okay. Dariji, can you hear us? direct message but we'll see well Lisa we've got everybody in a room yeah that's that's all it is three. <laughs> yeah right it's sort of good to not get put in them as well after two days of this isn't it just a little bit of headspace 
Indeed, indeed. You've been flipping between either being in one of these meetings or just typing, 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 or, or mm. editing, 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 rather than typing, just checking for mistakes. <laughs> so what have you been up to all this time? Yeah, yeah. But you'll need a break from the screen, won't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> just to get out into some fresh air and have a conversation. With yeah, <laughs> that's it, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I said that would go, go meet Jade. And another friend of ours, Tom, at the pub after this, but that's not really fit for the thing. <laughs> they wrecked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprising how I found that earlier on, you know, after the after the session, you because you're concentrating so hard just to try and keep everything under control. You feel yeah. really bloody washed out. Yeah, and you just feel every awkward moment, don't you? Like really hyperly intensely. <laughs> <laughs> Which they don't seem that awkward when you are not presenting it's just the no. zoom silence but yeah <laughs> yes you think oh you should have said this or you could have said that or something isn't it all the time mm. yeah. yeah so we've got there's nobody else who's waiting that's all right yeah so it should get to about i can't remember what time was we put them in now so um, it's like we well, till 48 or something like that is that something yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, should be all right. So, what was the what did you say the question was now in the end? To try and get them Central to talk danger. about a problem that they have with institutions in their context, and then when mm. they come back, we'll try and sort of say what can we, what could, how could we use, you know, a distinction mm. between A, B, C, D, and asset based approaches to, mm. to to negotiate that problem. Well, hopefully we'll get a few more people actually talking, isn't it? I suppose it's... It's either early morning or uh, late at night, isn't it? Well, yes, I suppose. For, I don't know whether the people in Canada um, are starting through the day, because there are quite a few more who seem to be present in the last, last session that we had, or that you know, we both attended. Yeah, yeah. I think there was about the same number, mm. about 25, isn't there? Mm. That was a good number. I think everybody's um yeah probably in the other other sides of the world is either um early morning or late afternoon i think is it yeah yeah or well, night time for us <laughs> yeah we'll sleep well after this then anyway yeah, definitely yeah do you think it's gone how you'd wanted it to so far in terms of yeah, yeah. They were, I mean, just the, the, the few people who replied back said the sort of things that we'd sort of expect them to say. You know, mm. I was pleased that Charles said, it's like, well, how much do we really mm. need the institutions? What mm. is, you know, so there's some of that thinking, isn't it? It's, it's one of those things, isn't it? Because it's, it's it's raising a question that nobody likes to talk about because <laughs> we all work yeah. within organisation, you know, within institutions of some kind. And that's mm. why I tried to preface it with, you know, let's remember that institutions are organisations of people with people in them and ABCD loves people so yeah I think this other thing as well the point that sort of came up in my session I think or it might, it might have been a question earlier on the fact that actually um, even within organizations or whatever they're still part of that community as well to a certain degree aren't they well yeah exactly yeah uh, but yeah it's rather than the institution itself, I suppose, imposing its own thinking, but it, yeah, it's a yeah. I mean, it's just when when does an institution not because when does it stop being a person? That's the thing, isn't it? And it's where it's usually when mm. they coalesce around some sort of sort of domination to stop something happening, rather than it is when things mm. happen. You mm. know what I mean? When things just happen and go merrily along the way, then there's yeah. no real need for them, is there? Yeah, it's yeah. Its role is almost stopping things happen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, okay. Let's see. Everyone. So we've got a couple more minutes yet, I guess. Yeah. Cool. And that's the other good thing about the breakout rooms is because they might not be talking to us when they come back, but they're, they, you have to talk to each other if there's only three of you. You have to yeah. make that effort. <laughs> yes. 
even if it might be something that you've talked about elsewhere or something, at least, at least they're yeah, yeah, engaging, yeah. which is good. I'm just trying to make sure I haven't put, I suppose everybody who knows them knows each other in the same room. I think one of the other ones is. I think by by, by now most most people are fairly familiar. There's a lot of the, most of the regular joiners will have been in a few breakout rooms with each other a few mm. times, have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's Michelle and Alison. I think that Alison's Alison Lurash is doing some of the organising and whatnot. Okay, yeah, yeah. But then there's Rachel Dunn in there. Ah, uh, crap. What's that? Ah, uh, the missed the missed to very... What mm -hmm. was the first question? And the, where are you looking? In the chat? Yeah, uh, she sent a personal message to me in the chat. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh, what's going on now? What you saying? Uh, just can we share the um the first question? Could you share the first question? Again. I'll just share all three, it's just easier, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Why is it? You need the question sharing. Yeah, I've well, just tried to copy and paste it, and it's going to like women massive white letters. So hopefully it'll work. Oh. Yeah. So the message there. What is the role of your institution in ABCD work? Yeah, that, well, that's because she that's what she asked for the first one. Then I'm going to share this one now. What about the other one? This one that they're currently on, is that the one? That's the one that they're currently on, I just sent, yeah. What are the potential dangers institutions present to ABCD in your context? Yeah. I mean, they're coming back in a minute anyway, aren't yeah. they? So yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I don't know what to do, whether to try and get them for 10, if they're going to talk for 10 minutes to try and sort it out together, or if we're going to have to send them back into breakout rooms. Or... Well, for the next, for the last one, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It's the, it'd be um, ideal if we could get them talking, but if, yeah. if we'll see how it goes, see how it goes. Well, like, Maybe we'll we've got, what, how many people? It might be an idea just at the end to keep everybody together, perhaps. Keep everyone together then, and then yeah, try and get Jay to share. Can hear. Yeah, yeah. People then can hear everybody else, I suppose, as well. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. It's also worthwhile. So I'll leave it till ten past then, and then if they're not chatty for five minutes, we can get them chatting for five minutes, can't we? Hmm. I think. I think yeah. it's if, if, even if they're not forthcoming. I think, like in the the other group that we were in just you know, before before yours, people could start to feed in, isn't it? Where they where they want to, anyway, yeah. and everybody can hear everybody else that way then. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Maybe keep it. Keep yeah. it in the group. Yeah. Keep it in the group. So we do. If, if no one's chatting, we can get Jade to mm. share it out or something. I think we can poke a few people. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't help that we're both clearly a bit flagging as well, is it? <laughs> Not quite as enthusiastic <laughs> as I might have been this afternoon. It's hard, it's hard to yeah, <laughs> think yeah. of in, you're getting confused about ABCD at 10 to 11. <laughs> yeah, <10 to> 11. Yeah. <laughs> it's <been> a long day. <laughs> we should all be popping back up. Yeah. 
Awesome. I think that's the soil, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, does anyone have anything to share, especially if you're thinking that um, what comes up as problems there, we might be able to try, try and have a, a bit of a group discussion about how we how we solve them as well. So if anyone would like to share anything that, that came out of their conversations, that would be really great. Yes, Joanne. I can share. I had the absolute pleasure of being with Winifred, who is an amazing advisor from the Department of Internal Affairs in New Zealand, which, in my opinion, has the only true ABCD <laughs> institutional hat in New Zealand because they give untagged funding to community organisations like mine to actually just go out and do whatever the community wants. It's an amazing, amazing program. It gets four and a half million a year and that's it. And there are 18 organisations which are lucky enough to be on this program. And they are great. They get it. The people in that part of DIA get it. But you know who doesn't get it? Treasury doesn't get it. The Ministry of Social Development doesn't get it. The Ministry of Health doesn't get it. Auckland Council sure as shit doesn't get it. And the other issue we talked about is that a lot of institutions like ABCD, they claim to follow its principles, but the systems they are trapped within do not allow them to activate it. So they may want to do ABCD, but their funding systems and their permission systems for parks and road closures and this, that and the other prevent them from allowing ABCD to happen. So there's a system change things that needs that needs to happen. And there is a like telling everyone about ABCD, singing it from the rooftops, how great it is thing that needs to happen. We need to grow the people who believe in ABCD, but we need to change the systems they're trapped within so they can actually action it in a real way and not in the non-sultation way that we talked about in our previous breakout. Totally agree, Joanne, that's awesome. So does anyone else have another problem that they'd like to share that came up from their conversations? Or an idea about how, to, how we could, might work to tackle Joanne's problem that she's identified either or? Hi, Rachel. That one. So you want to, were you wanting to speak, Rachel? Hello. <laughs> I'm having right trouble there. with my video. My, um, I, I, I wasn't going to. Um, I think we had a, a, a similar discussion that Joanne um, and Winifred had, actually, although you <laughs> made it seem much more articulate. Um, you know, we, we also, I think, talked about... Um, this risk, the, the, the market driven nature of working in a large organization. I work in a large NGO, we're very market driven, we're very risk adverse. Um, and, you know, we've, I think, in some ways become so professional that you sort of forget <laughs> the mm. whole relationship building component. You're so busy recruiting counselors and experts to go out and um, help people. Experts. Um. experts is a good one isn't it because we should assume that people are experts over their own destiny and fate and future and so, yeah yeah um. awesome thanks for sharing rachel is there anyone else we've uh we've definitely got time to go for a few more yeah awesome Dick. um i i was with alan and charles and um which was really nice because we got three different countries represented in our little group and we still had a lot of similarities so we talked about um you know those dangers of being um uh, you know, if you're, if, if it's top down, um, if you have the rug pulled out from under you, if you've got heavy compliance, um, all of those kind of things from a kind of larger or, um, um, uh, yeah, that, that another top down organisation and kind of the things that you can do as an organisation that you might be in is um, knowing when to fight, knowing when to dust yourself off, uh, knowing when to leave it alone um, and, and know who your allies are. So um, I think there was a lot of similarities across uh, our, our three countries. And if Alan or Charles want to add anything to that, I think a bit of a summary. Just to add to that is uh, 
what you just discussed, and, and I gave an example of, of what is up in where institutions are the norm of the day. And the institutions actually are believed to be the solution providers. And this really blocks the community from growth. And the community is suppressed, and they cannot really spread their wings and grow. And, and what you said is true. And uh, it's good, actually, I've seen these similarities both there, because we normally think that maybe these issues are this side and not your side. But it's good to know that all the institutions are, are behaving the same. And maybe a BCD can help us now penetrate and and work and and and, and maneuver through all the systems and and get what we want. Awesome. I, Thank you. I'm glad that when we when we had the rug pulled out from under us after going through an ABCD process, um, we uh, decided to, we we had to create our own institution. Uh, so we created a community co-op. We borrowed the idea from a neighboring county. That allowed us to do quite a bit of what we wanted to do without needing to be dependent upon um, a lot of the government stuff. So that that uh, that helped us find a way through after uh, finding ourselves thwarted by the very people who had set set up the whole process. So it was it was it was a uh, it's come to be a good thing for all of us. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Alan. Uh, we maybe got time for one more person. If one more person's got the uh, the impetus to speak, hi Karen. Is that are you looking to? Were you looking to speak, Karen? Oh, sorry. Um, I was thinking that uh, what Joanne was saying was uh, very much along the lines of what I was. Um, thinking, um, uh, talking about with Jim, uh, that it's not so much what the institution, the, da the, well, the danger in the institution is the attitudes of the people within the institution. And um, there's such a need to uh, address those attitudes. And so that in that way, it was similar to what Joanne was talking about. Awesome, thank you, Karen. So we've got a couple a couple of minutes left at the end. So I just wondered if Jade, if you wanted to, uh, if to feed back to us, maybe what you've you've harvested for us um, artistically from the conversations. Yeah, so it's mainly um, I'm just picking up on all the metaphors. Um, so you know, communities not being able to spread the wings, the rug, the rug being pulled from um, from under people. Um, and what else have we got here? Sorry, it's all it's all lots of kind of scribbling. Um, um, the the difficulty um, that it, the the labels that institutions are given and the people that exist under the banner of an institution not necessarily feeling that that label helps or or is necessarily appropriate and how that can be worked through maybe was was quite a good point that came up. Um, <clears throat> And just just the cross pollination between different organisations, um, and um, yeah, just just being seen as as a certain thing with with un underneath an institutional banner uh, that maybe doesn't represent how you feel as a, as an individual unit mm -hmm. or collective. Awesome, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Just just say thank you so much for for joining. This is the first time that I've had a chance to speak to. Uh, well, this this international audience about ABCD or any of the stuff that we're doing, and I just thank you all for sharing your insights with me. Uh, and I can't wait to learn more from you all over the years as we keep going on with our work. And it's been great to have met you all. And uh, have a nice evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is uh, mm -hmm. for you where you are. <laughs> Thanks, for Thanks again, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, bye. Thank you, everyone. Great session, Rory. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs>